The Bayou Classic this coming down to the final possession as well inside the Superdome. Southern down 16-13 at the half. How about this? Devon Ben. That's actually in the first half early on. Later on, Southern though gonna pull out. Nope. Excuse me. This is the still the first half highlights. Grambling taking it to the house. A back and forth debacle. Uh, apparently, this is not going to have our second half highlights. Here it is. The Tigers, though, Gramlin State would eventually win this one 29-26. Jared Paul Joseph was in the dome and can certainly summarize it better than I. The Bayou Classic is the perfect example of how Southern season has gone, getting out coached after halftime. Now Southern did find the end zone in the second half for the first time since beating Alcorn a month ago, but the defense did not get stops in crucial moments. The Jaguars have now suffered their first Bayou Classic loss since 2017. It hurts. I mean, anytime you lose, it hurts. It hurts. Whether it's one point or 100 points, a loss is a loss. You know, they don't, you don't grade them on how, how many points you lose by it. They all count the same. So we hurt for every loss, it's, you know, especially this last one because you don't have another opportunity to get on the field. So when you lose the last one, it stings because you have to sleep on it for an entire offseason. Southern now begins an offseason with a ton of questions, starting with head coach Jason Rawlins. Will the interim tag be removed or will a new man take the helm for the Golden Blue? The one thing that is certain is the players have loved playing for Jason Rawlins. It was great. Coach Rawlins, he's a, he's a cool coach, you know what I'm saying? He's, he's more of a laid back coach, but... I mean, I'm, I'm more of a laid back person too, so we kind of, we bonded well. Uh, he's a loving, caring dude, very smart, very smart with a great memory. Um, he takes your, your love for the game and pushes it even more. Uh, he challenges you in a different way. Day in and day out, you can see him come in with the smile and the, the passion that he has, the energy that he brings in the room, every room he walks in, um, it's, a, it's infectious and we just run with it. Coach Rollins has the player's support. Football, however, is a results-based business and the Jaguars end their season on a three-game losing streak. Covering Southern football for your Go Nation, I'm Jared Paul Joseph.